Manika here and in this video I'm going to show you three simple moves that every girl should know, especially perfect for a crowded dance floor. And I want you to stick around till the end of this video. I'm going to show you how you can transition between the movements, how you can put them together so you can dance better. If you're new here, hi, my name is Manika and I specialize in teaching men and women how to dance better in social settings, clubs, parties, weddings, you name it. If you would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I'm posting a new video every week. If you want to learn more about it, if you want to develop uh, permanent dance skills and build the confidence for dancing in social settings, check out my free masterclass. I'm hosting a free masterclass where I'm going to be sharing my strategy on how I help my clients achieve all of that in three simple steps. So if you're interested, stick around till the end of this video for the announcement on how you can join. First movement today, we're going to stand with the feet slightly apart shoulder width apart, hip width apart. Um, you're going to have the knees bent, so stay low and we'll stay there the entire time. So it's a nice little workout. And we're going to work with the hips. It's mostly the hips today. The first thing I want you to do is you're going to push the hip out to the side and just do it a few times just so you get used to that action. Nothing specific here. You're standing in place, the hips tick side to side, okay? Then what we'll do with it is we're going to um, change the hip three times. So you're going to switch the direction three times and pause on the last one. You're going to go tick, tick, stop, and then start the other way. Tick, tick, stop. Again, one and two, one and two. So we have a little pause on the snare drum. You're going to hear it with music and two and one and two and that's pretty much version number one this one is the easiest um, once you learn this one all the other ones will be um, very easy for you so let's try again a little bit faster five six seven eight one and two three and four five and six seven and eight or one and two one and two one and two one and two. Notice that I'm not making the movement very, very big. It's more so about the transition and the rhythm of it, you know, going quick, quick, stop, quick, quick, stop, then a huge movement. It's only, you know, what we're doing here is the hip isolation. And if hip isolations are difficult for you, I will link the video that I did on the hips isolations below so you can practice so that your hips work nice and smoothly. The second movement we'll try today starts off the same way, the ending will be different. All we're going to do is on that last hip transition, we're going to drop the body even lower so that we visibly change levels. Let me show you slowly. Starts with the same hip, you go one and drop on two. And then when you start the other way, you come up, of course. One and drop. And again, hip, hip, down, and hip, hip, down. Got it? Let's try a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, one and two, one and two one and two. So I'm still pushing the hip out even though I'm sitting down. It's a little bit you know, less comfortable, so don't go too low, but you can definitely tell that I'm changing levels. I know the tension's gone now and that you won't come back. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget. All right, and the last option, this time will involve some footwork in it. On the last um, hip transition, we're just going to move the opposite heel in. This is all you're doing, just a little twist. So it looks like this. One and two, and then reset the feet. Other way, one and two. So it's always opposite heel going in to the hip that's sticking out. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, 
one and two, one and two, one and two. Nothing happens with the feet on the first two hip transitions and only on the snare, on two, I'm bringing the heel in. This is with the last hip. One and two, and one and two. Those moves, guys, are perfect for when you're wearing heels, which I'll show you later on, and you don't want to lose your balance <laughs> because everything here, we're just standing with you know, feet firmly grounded on the floor and we're not doing anything crazy that would put us off balance. We're just grooving in place. Nice and safe. Keeping it safe. <laughs> I'm going to put all those movements together. We'll do a mini routine just so you get better transitions between those moves. But before that, let me know in the comments which of those three variations is your favorite. Let me put the movements together. We're going to start with the first move we did. So just the easiest version in place. Stay low and we have full eight count. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. The second movement will do the drop, right? On the, on the um, third hip transition. We have one and drop, one and drop, two more times, and six, seven and eight. And then the last one was with the heel. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay, let's do it once again. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, heel in, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay, five, six, seven, go. One and two, three and four, five and six. Next one, down. Heel in. One and two, three and four, five and six. Again. Change levels. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And heel in. So this is how you connect the three movements together, but how do you actually build confidence? If you need help um, becoming more comfortable dancing in social settings and you want to know what you can do to develop the confidence to do that, join my free masterclass. I have limited spots available, but you can register for it at a link below this video. Just click the link, it will take you to a registration page. I think it will be very beneficial for you. I'm going to be teaching you how you can develop permanent dance skills such as rhythm, such as coordination, your freestyle skills, and how you can become confident and comfortable dancing no matter where you are. That's it from me today, you guys, but let me know in the comments, should I create more videos like that? Uh, do you like that format? What kind of videos you would like to see on my channel? And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I'm posting a new video every week. Thank you so, so much for learning from me and I'm hoping to see you next time. Bye. I first I need you, and you're off my radar now